So I'm gonna get our supplies ready. Um, you wanna have something to paint on today? I'm gonna to paint on a piece of cardboard. You can paint on a piece of paper. You can paint on a canvas, whatever you have around the house. Um, you want to make sure it's nice and sturdy so that um, your paint doesn't like, if you paint just on paint, paint, regular printer paper, it will wrinkle up and be really sad. So don't do that. Um, get something sturdy. Um, we are going to paint horses today. Here is one example of what, now you don't have to do the exact horse. We're going to talk about the horse shape. We're also going to talk a little bit about um, complementary colors. So this, this one is done in blue and orange. Um, here's another version done in blue and orange. So you can see, you can do your own version. See how it's the same shape of a horse, but there's, you know, different ideas. Um, I want you guys to be thinking in your head, what colors you want to use? Um, I want to encourage you to use complementary colors. Now, um, some of you might be familiar with the term complementary colors, but if you're not, I'm going to go over what it means. So I have here, a, a um, color wheel, okay, and this is just a way of understanding color. It, um, it isn't all of the colors that there are, but it is the colors of the rainbow, which can be mixed together to create all the colors that there are sort of thing. So this is a way of understanding it. So our, our primary, when we're using pigments or paints, our primary colors are usually yellow, um, red or magenta and blue and those are our primary colors. Those are colors that you can't get by mixing other paints together. You need tubes of paint of those colors of so red or magenta and blue and yellow and the reason I say red and magenta is you can use red or you can use like a magenta color. So I have like this like bright magenta that I often use as my red color um, but you can also use like red like this as your red color um, the difference is the kind of colors that it makes when you mix them together. You, you'll, if you want a nice bright purple, you want to use magenta. If you want um, something like more like bright orange, you're going to use the red to mix with your yellow to get like a nicer bright orange. Um, it's just the difference. And you can use a variety of blues. There's this blue you could use, or you could even use like something like this. Um, but that's the thing. So those are our mixing colors. There's red, yellow, blue. Um, when you mix them together, this wheel shows what colors you get. You get, if you mix blue and yellow, you get green. If you mix um, magenta and blue, you get purple. If you mix magenta and yellow, you get orange. Or um, if, you, if you do red, then you get orange too. Okay, so that's just um, for reference. Now, um, remember I said complementary colors. Complementary colors means that they are colors that are directly across from each other, each other on the color wheel. So if we look at purple is the complement of yellow and this orange color is the complement of this teal color, kind of the blue kind of color and, and so on. So we have the blue and the orange is what I did right here, the blue and the orange. And so you can choose those colors, what color you want to work with when you're making your horse. So thinking ahead to our horse, um, you can choose. I chose, you see the orange color and you see the blue color. Now I've added black to my blue so that it's much darker. Um, in this one, I used pretty much those true colors. So you see that? Um, and so those are things you can think about as we're moving forward. Think about those. And what complementary colors do is what they do is they emphasize each other. They make each other look brighter and, and um, um, more vibrant if you put them next to each other. If you lay them on top of each other, which is something I did with this one, hopefully you can see that. See how the orange is kind of, it has a little bit of a gray tone to it. I added a little bit of blue to the orange to make it not so bright. So if you want to try mixing colors, you can do that too. And I'll explain that as we go. So go ahead and um, start putting a little bit of paint on your palette. I hope you guys have like a plastic palette or something to paint with. Um, you have paintbrush, got your water, make sure you have paper towels nearby because we all know that we make a mess, right? I'm gonna go ahead
ahead and grab my kind of a bigger paintbrush and we're going to start by doing the horse's body. So this is this shape right here, this rectangle shape. Now um, look how big it is compared to the whole page. It's not very big. Okay, so I have quite a big bit of space here and quite a bit of space here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and start painting that. And I want my, my horse not to be a bright, bright orange. I want it to be a lighter color. So I'm going to take um, a little bit of orange and look, I'm, when I grab my paint, I'm grabbing it from the edge of the pile of paint. I'm kind of dragging it out away from it into a, like an empty space. And then if I don't want like bright, bright orange, I want a little bit of white in it. I'm going to grab it just from the edge of the white. I'm not dabbing right into the middle of the paint pile. I'm getting it from the edge. Okay. Okay, so I'm grabbing just a little bit of paint. And you'll know when you put it down if you've got too much or too little, because if you've got too much, it's going to make a big blob. And if it got too little, it's going to um, go on really dry. And so here, we'll see. All right. So I'm just going to paint a rectangle right in the middle of my page. And I want it um, to be the color that I'm going to help my horse to want my horse to be or close to, you know. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. You can just kind of, you know, if the edges are a little fuzzy, we're going to be going around it with black and or with blue or whatever our background color is later. So don't stress about it too much. Okay. So there's my rectangle for my horse's body. It's right in the middle. Okay. And then um, we're going to do his kind of neck area. So we're going to get a little bit more of that pink color that we liked for our horse, our horse color. Okay. And we're going to make like a, it's like a, um, a piece of a pie. So we're going to go straight up and then it's going to curve like this. Okay, so it's like half of a, we get half of a semicircle right here. Okay, and see my semicircle is a little lighter than my orange body and that's okay. Your horse can be kind of various colors, that's totally fine. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bit more paint. And we're gonna do down here his leg. You can see it right here. Just the top part of that leg is gonna be a semicircle that goes the other direction. So it's gonna go like this. And it's smaller than the first one we made. Okay. This goes straight down from the back of the rectangle and then it's a semicircle like that. Okay. And off of the back of that little semicircle, we're going to make a little um, rectangle, really small one, similar to the one we made, but same proportions, but just a really small version. We have big rectangle, little rectangle, big semicircle, little semicircle. Okay. And then right in front of this, right here, we're gonna do like a little rectangle that comes down right here. And then we're gonna kind of like angle it so that it's fatter at the top than it is at the bottom. You guys see that okay? I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There we go. All right. So we have that little sem that little shape right there. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the front of the horse, and we're gonna do his little leg that's right here. This this beginning of it, not the whole thing, but just the beginning of it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and at the front of his body, I'm just gonna make a little rectangle that shoots off of it like this. So we got the rectangle at the front of the horse. And now we're going to do his leg that comes down, the back one. Okay. And we're going to go. I hear you guys when you guys talk. Did she ask you about that? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we got the horse's front leg, his other front leg, his back leg, and his other back leg, okay? And then um, I'm doing all these big shapes with a big brush, and then we'll switch to a smaller brush and do the rest of the legs. But right now we're going to go up and just do his face, okay? So the face is going to be a circle that comes right off the top of this semicircle right here. So I'm just going to kind of make a little circular shape right here. Right off, and then it's like that circle. And if you make a little blob like I did, it's totally okay because we're going to paint over it. Sometimes we mess up and it's all right. All right. So from there, we got the head, the main head part right there. And then <clears throat> we're going to go and do the little, the nose and like the front of the face. So I'm just from, from here, you're going to go straight down in a little rectangle. And make sure that, that you leave a space between his nose and his neck. See that? Just a little rectangle. Okay. Now I'm going to wash out my brush. And I'm going to get a smaller brush, a pointier brush if I can. Okay, I got my smaller pointier brush. I'm going to grab those same colors and now we're going to do the little details like the, leg, the bottoms of the legs and everything, okay? So we're going to start with um, a little bit more paint. Grab that paint. And once again, I'm just pulling it away from the big pile into like this little kind of mixing area right here. And we're going to start with his back leg. And from this back little angle, this little rectangle, we're going to start at the back of it and we're going to make a little curve like this. Okay, and you can make it a little thicker at the top by just kind of doing another stroke at the top. It comes down like that, okay. And off the top of it, just before the end, we do a little bump. That's his little ankle. Okay. A little curve, and then a bump. And then along the line right here, we do a little triangle, and that's his foot. Okay. All right, so we have a back leg on our horse. Hooray! Oh, we're gonna go ahead and do the next leg, this middle, this middle one right here. So grab some more paint. And we're gonna get, do a curve. And it's gonna be a curve um, that comes down off the bottom and then it's gonna curve this way, okay? So it's like, like that, a little. And once again, off the back of that little, so it's going to be doing the back of the leg, under, underneath it, there's going to be a little bump for the ankle. And then right here, we're going to do a triangle. So here's the top of the leg, and the triangle comes from that way. Like it's a, there's that triangle. There we go. So now he has two legs. Now we need another leg, these front ones. So we're gonna do this next one. So for this one, I'm gonna do a little circle for his knee, his front knee, it comes off of that. Tiny little circle on the end of that leg. I don't know, and then that's, um, it's like, I guess it's like his thigh maybe, I don't know, the top of his leg. And then, from there, we're going to draw a line that kind of points towards this back leg. And it's just going to go like this, right? And then you can make it thicker at the top, and thinner at the bottom. Okay, so it's just a straight line. And then let's do the triangle first this time. There's a triangle at the end of it. With the hoof, like that triangle. And then right behind the triangle is that bump for the ankle. 
a little bit smaller than the foot. Okay. From there, we're going to go to the front leg. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a little circle for the knee. And then we're going to do a line that goes kind of, it's, it's a slightly curved line, but it just goes straight forward. Can you see that very well? Straight forward like that. And a little bit thicker at the top, next to that circle. Everything's connecting. Now we're gonna do the triangle off the very end, Whoop, like that. hook and then a bump right behind that triangle for the ankle. Okay. And you can see like because I've been mixing orange and white at different in different degrees like I have different tints of the color. But that's okay. I kind of like it. All right, from there, I'm gonna give my horse some ears. Um, the ears on my horse are kind of pointed back because he's going so fast, he's like running. So I'm just gonna do little points off the top of his head that point back like this. They're like little skinny triangles. And if I want, I can kind of, I'm, I think I'm gonna make his face just a little bit bigger. All right, I feel good about that. Oh, he needs a tail, doesn't he? Let's go in with a tail. I'm grabbing a little bit more paint. Once again, I'm just mixing it from the side like this. <laughs> and then from the back of the bottom, right here at the top of the, um, the rectangle that is his rump, we're gonna go up and over. You can, make him, you can make it as long and as flowy as you want. Okay. As thick as you want. If you want, you can kind of go like this again. Make it really crazy. Ooh, that's got a long, crazy tail. Let's do that. That's fun. With like an S at the end. All right, and then if you want to, you can add a little bit more mane to your horse. I'm gonna add a little bit more mane. And that just means little wavy lines coming off the back of his head like this. Woo, woo. You know, you can make it as long and crazy as you want. This is your horse, all right? Give him some long, crazy mane. All right, wash out your brush. And we're gonna leave that there to dry for a little bit, that horse. And we're gonna think about the background a little bit. Now, um, if you're working in complementary colors, you're gonna switch your colors. You're gonna go from, if you're working like me with orange, you're gonna switch to your blue. And I'm actually gonna mix blue and black. So I like the idea of this horse kind of jumping through the night sky. Um, but you can maybe, if you did it green, you can make it a meadow, you you know, do whatever you want to do as far as that goes. Um, but just think ahead as you're going. If your horse is really light, you probably want to make a dark background. If your horse is really dark, you want to make a light background. Um, so um, the way that you do that is just add either black or white with your colors. Um, I'm going to add black, making a shade of blue. So I can do the same thing. I'm going to grab a little bit of my blue. I'm going to grab a little bit of my black. And I'm starting with my little paintbrush so that I can outline my horse and then I'll go in with my big paintbrush and get in all, get all the stuff. I'm not gonna try and get in time to do the little details with my big brush yet, okay?
So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my um, smaller brush and I'm going to start putting some details in on my horse. Um, if you want to follow along, you can. If you're happy just painting your horse the way you want to, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start mixing the color, some colors to kind of um, give my horse, see how my, my, my original painting has some extra shading and some different colors on the horse. So I want to, I want to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start on that. If you want to follow along, like I said, go for it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix kind of a neutral, a neutral color for um, the tail. And remember, I said if you mix complementary colors, you're going to get a neutral or a darker. Like it's kind of like a mud. If I say neutral, it basically means mud color. So I'm going to mix my orange with my blue. And like I said, like just grab from the edge of the of the thing and I'll grab a little bit of blue. And mix it together and get this nice kind of muddy color. Mm -hmm. There's my mud. Doesn't sound very nice, but it, it, it makes for a nice tail color. <laughs> so mixing those complement colors to get a neutral color. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting in on the tail. And I don't want to paint the whole tail over. I kind of like how there's like some different colors in there, but I do want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna start at the base and I'm just gonna kind of shade in some spots with a thin layer of that darker color, kind of maybe making it a little bit more streaky so that there's um, kind of more, uh, so little bits of the light color show through. That makes it fun and exciting. And from down here, we go a little bit dark down here. Just little bits. You can do kind of like little lines to make it more textured if you want. And I think the base of the tail is a lot darker than the tip, so I'm just going to keep on putting that in there like that. Okay, so there's that nice dark tail. I'm going to do the same thing for the, um, the mane up here. Mixing those complementary colors. The orange and the blue in my case, to get that muddy color in the middle, the darker muddy color so that I can do the mane. Now the horse's um, neck has this nice curve and I don't want to take that away so I'm just going to stay kind of on the edge of things. So I'm going to come up here, and his hair kind of comes off the back of his neck. And I'm not going to cover up everything because I, I like the, some of the little highlights in there. And and try and get in some of it so that it has some darker bits. Mm -hmm. Colored a little bit on the dark side, so I'm going to go a little bit more orange. Mm -hmm. Get those lady lines over top with that complementary color. I'm not going to see, I'm leaving a lot of that light color there because I like it. You can do what you want. You can make it your own version of your own Have fun with it. There we go. I think that's good. Now, horses often have that hair right in the front of their face. The bangs. Forelock, I think it's called. Right? I don't know. So we're going to go up here. And just like between those ears, I'm going to do a little bit of hair. And it's blowing back by the wind because he's going so fast. I'm just going to go back like this. Kind of making curving lines like that. Okay. His hair is blowing in the wind because he's running so fast. Um, I like it. All right. That's great. All right. So now I'm going to also think about um, his little hooves. I'm going to make them a little darker. You can make them black if you want, but my background is pretty close to black, so I don't want to do that. I'm just going to make it kind of this light gray color. Or brown, whatever, whatever I've been using on the hooves, I think it'll still show up a little bit, especially if I leave a little bit of the light showing around it. Uh, and when you do the hooves, you're just painting the the kind of the bottom portion of that triangle. So this back one is like that. This one is like that. This one, bottom. It's like the bottom of the leg. You kind of think of it that way. It's the bottom of the leg, whatever. The very bottom. that shape. Okay, so now he has hooks. Right now my horse, he, you can't really tell which, which leg is in front and which leg is behind and I want to make sure that it's clear 
like it is in here. See how we can tell. These are the ones that are behind the horse and these are the ones that are in front. So I'm gonna make that clear by shading in part of the leg. I'm gonna use that neutral color that I made, maybe not quite so dark as I did on the main tail. So I'm just gonna go up here. Maybe add a little bit of white to that. Hmm, let's see. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go right here. And so I'm gonna draw a line where his belly is. And then shade this leg so that it's darker. And it's obviously behind. Behind his body. Like that. And you can take the shading all the way down, or you can just do part of the leg. I'm just doing the part that's right underneath the body. Right there. Maybe a little bit farther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I do that to the front leg too. I want this one to be the back leg, so I'm gonna go ahead and Take a little bit, make a line right here at the bottom of the body. And just shade in this leg. That darker color, that neutral color that I mixed with the blue and the orange together. There we go. Now, those ones look like they're definitely behind. If I really want to emphasize that, I can clean up my brush and actually lighten colors along the bottom. Of his body. So I'm going to go back, clean my brush, and grab a little bit of yellow, or okay, orange, a little bit of white. And I'm going to make sure that his belly and his leg, all that lighter color. So that it looks like he on is all in front of the legs that are behind. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a little bit of a I'm going to make his shoulder a little bit lighter. I want my horse to be pretty light. Oh, and we should probably give him some eyes, huh? If you haven't already, you give him an eyeball. Um, I'm going to use that same kind of mixing of the two complementary colors, the blue and the orange. And maybe just a little bit of black to make the color for his eye. And his eye is going to go right below his little hair, right here. And I'm just going to go like, it's a little, um, it's like a little, I don't know, sort of, what is this? Is it like a triangle, sort of? I don't know. Line down and line over. 